The glory we need to go to is the next glory, and right words will take you there. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you're walking in by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time the here Father and these messages are blessing you, Jesus then consider becoming right. a partner with us. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 11. A word fitly spoken. Say fitly spoken. Fitly spoken. Is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Well, that'd be pretty good, right? Yeah. Firstly, is that valuable? Yes. Having an apple of solid gold, would that be valuable? Yes. And then you put it in a picture of silver, it really means in a setting of silver. Right. Mm -hmm. That'd be worth something, yeah. right? So we're talking about something of value, specifically a word fitly spoken has value. Mm -hmm. So there's great value in speaking the word. Say there's great value, great value. in speaking the word. Speaking now it matters what words you speak yes. mm -hmm. the contemporary english version says the right word the right word at the right time is like precious gold set in silver mm -hmm. what is the right word at the right time mm -hmm. can we see at a minimum so far there's value in speaking the word and especially the right word yes. mm -hmm. at the right time well, in our day, we have words given us to speak that will be fitly words mm -hmm. that are at the right time and the right words to speak. And if we do those, say if we do those, we do those. they will be greatly valuable. They have great value. Well, I've heard this and I hear it all the time. People say to me that I've never heard anyone use the words, I worship you, Holy Ghost, until i got involved with you with this ministry mm -hmm. can you testify to this yes. never heard it before well there's reasons for that i'll get into that in a little bit but i was given those words yes. they were given to me to use not only personally but also in the ministry mm -hmm. is there any value in that yes there's great value in it like apples made out of gold in settings of silver if you use them you got to speak them right words grant you entrance into the things of god right words grant you entrance into the things of god if you don't have the right words you can't go there so you have to be given the right words and then speak the right words to go into the things of god that's just how it is Matthew 12 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned you'll be justified by your words or condemned by your words are you here yes. I'm not making this up I just read straight out of the Bible That's right. right words are the difference between you getting to where you need to go or just stopping and being hindered from going there right words right words are the difference between you getting where you need to go or falling short of the glory that you need to obtain in this day to do what you need to do mm -hmm. what justifies you right words the glory we need to go to is the next glory and right words will take you there are you here yes. if you can hear that right words will take you there mm -hmm. and the higher you go the more right your words need to be mm -hmm. enoch had the right words and how far did he go mm -hmm. he went all the way mm -hmm. say he went all the way he went all the way remember the bible says that enoch walked with god what are we talking about what do we talk about all the time walking with God 
the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words by saying right words mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 let's read verse 5 by faith Enoch was what translated. translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God a testimony is something you say mm -hmm. and before say before, before before his translation before he was changed and translated mm -hmm. he had something yes. what did he have he had something said he had things that he was saying mm -hmm. that pleased God yes. and through having the things that he said pleasing God he was translated from one glory to the next glory is this too difficult no. so what you have to have are the right words mm -hmm. if you want to go listen if you want to go to the next glory you have to have the right words Amen. let me ask you a question are you going to be translated if you don't have the right words no. not gonna happen scripturally Amen. Enoch had the right words and was translated meaning he was changed from one thing to another thing he was, he was changed from one thing, from one thing to, another thing. to another thing from one place, from one place to another place. another place right words grant you entrance say right words, right words. grant me, grant me. Entrance. entrance right words grant you entrance into the next, next. the next level the next glory the right words grant you entrance into knowing the Holy Ghost as God if you don't have listen if you don't have the right words you can't know the Holy Ghost is God you think he's an anointing if you don't have the right words you can't know the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord you just think he's an anointing we go from glory to glory we're going to turn there we go from glory to glory even as by the spirit lord if we don't have the right words we can't go to the next glory because it's by the lord who is that spirit or the spirit lord yes. and if our words about him are wrong then we're stopped and blocked from going there mm -hmm. much like having a veil mm -hmm. talking about right words we're talking about going from glory to glory we're talking about being translated from one thing to the next mm -hmm. and I'm putting my finger on the problem mm -hmm. you're not saying the right thing you're not saying the right thing you're not saying the right thing if listen if you begin saying the right thing the curtain will be pulled back the door will be open for you and you will be able to walk through from one glory to the next glory you individually and the whole corporate us as a church mm -hmm. but we haven't been saying the right thing we haven't been saying the right thing are we having fun yet yes. do we want to go from glory to glory yes. Yes. do you want to go from where you are which might be fine and good to a someplace that's better yes. greater mm -hmm. healthier younger wealthier second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away a veil keeps you from seeing things and when the veil is taken away you see something you didn't see before verse 17 now the lord is the veil is taken away that spirit when the veil is taken away you say now the lord is that spirit yes. when the veil is taken away you say now the lord is that spirit yes. we haven't been saying that right. and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord we're talking about the holy ghost mm -hmm. there is liberty liberty to go from one glory to the next glory but we all verse 18 with open face beholding as in a glass 
the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by or with the Spirit of the Lord literally says the Spirit Lord we're changed from glory to glory with the Spirit Lord knowing the Spirit Lord knowing the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord as God changes you knowing the Spirit Lord as God changes you are you gonna get that change if you don't have your words straight you don't have your words straight about him the one that you're being changed with get this straight you will not be changed from glory to glory without the Spirit Lord without knowing him as the Spirit Lord as God in the earth today that's why these words today are so important and they're so fit they're fitly words they're timely words because we have to be changed from glory to glory are you here yes. but if you have your words straight you can go there because your words qualify you your words open that door so you can go there yes. the right words in due season now Enoch was a type of the last day church God prophesies the end from the beginning Enoch is a type of the last day church and he got his words straight and he walked with God are you here yes. Enoch got his words straight and walked with God and was not for God took him he's a type of the last day church yes. well I am the new Enoch now I didn't say I'm Enoch I said I'm the new Enoch and I will take you into the spirit with the words I say and you'll be translated from one place to the next but not without the Spirit Lord not without the Lord who is the Spirit people hate it when someone speaks with authority they're not used to it they don't like it but I have this message of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words they tried to throw Jesus off a cliff remember that mm -hmm. when he started speaking with authority they didn't like it they tried to throw him off the cliff well I live on the edge of the cliff right on the edge of the next glory mm -hmm. which is where we're going Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying right words and those right words enable you to go from one place to the next mm -hmm. are you here but not without the Spirit Lord is this so difficult yeah. thank you come right up front when we say the right words it pleases him him who him the Holy Ghost the one you're supposed to be walking with I'm saying right words I'm walking with God the Holy Ghost in the earth he is the Spirit Lord and when I speak right words it pleases him is there any benefit to that yes. when I say the right words we please him we're accepted with him what did it say about Enoch he had a testimony that pleased God so we're pleasing God the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord God the earth today and we're approved and when you're approved listen when you're approved you get to go there the next place when you're approved of him the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord you get to go there well I'm telling you the right words I'm telling you the right words if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you will be able to go where I'm talking about tonight those words please him for he is God and you should worship God I get a chuckle it's kind of a sad chuckle I guess when people say that they don't worship the Holy Ghost and I say you don't worship God mm -hmm. they don't know him as God if they knew him as God they would worship him 
you're not going to get to go where i'm talking about without knowing him as god the spirit lord in the earth That's right. and the way to know him as god is to begin to worship him as god i was given those words to use like it or not i was given those words an angel came and told me use these words well, what am i going to do i'm going to use the words use these words i worship you holy ghost they're a tool they're a key that unlocks the door of the holy ghost being the spirit lord in my life yes. but then also into the earth mm -hmm. are you seeing this yes. use these words they are valuable they're like gold set in silver well the holy ghost hears right words is it right to worship god yes. and he hears the right words and he recognizes you you ever see i was thinking of congress you know where you know uh they'll say the gentleman from uh rhode island is recognized for five minutes mm -hmm. right and then they have to listen to him mm -hmm. well i'm not talking about congress i'm talking about the Holy Ghost he recognizes you he recognizes your right words he acknowledges you mm -hmm. he looks at you and then things begin to happen mm -hmm. are you here yes. and I maintain it's not necessarily because you're so special it's because you're using the words That's right. he recognizes his words mm -hmm. right words causes the Holy Ghost to recognize you to acknowledge you wrong words causes him to ignore you mm -hmm. wrong words causes you to believe the wrong thing mm -hmm. right words i worship you holy ghost causes you to believe that he is god you wouldn't be worshiping him if, if he wasn't god yeah. right wrong words causes you to believe something different something wrong and holds you back from going to where you need to be glory to glory are you here yes well, the holy ghost says your words have not been right towards me your words have not been right towards me malachi talks about your words being stout against god and him not even be able, being able to bless you even though you were a tither your words were against him he can't let you in if your words are against him your words have not been right towards him can you see this does it matter yes if right words grant you entrance wrong words keep you out you know where most of the church is they're out if right words grant you entrance wrong words keep you out we go from glory to glory by and with the spirit lord mm -hmm. but you don't call him that or know him that way how far is that going to get you no far it's not going to get you very far in fact you're not going to get anywhere the door you're going to get this the door of the spirit is his door Amen. you want to go into the spirit and obtain the things that he has for you it's his door and you don't get to go through it unless you worship him Amen. as god as the spirit lord knowing him even as by the lord who is the spirit mm -hmm. he regulates who enters and stays and who doesn't what would justify you to enter in right words by your words you're justified if you don't worship him he won't let you into this place people might say you know well how do you know this because i've been on the other side and i've been on this side and i am telling you it is a completely different space to be in walking with the holy ghost as the living god god in the earth today the spirit lord that's not where i was before and i thought i was right before but i wasn't right before this is right but i couldn't see it because i was on the other side of the veil we always want people's approval but i'm not going back 
i am going on with the holy ghost as the spirit lord god in the earth today and people can either choose to go with me or not treating him the holy ghost as an anointing will only get you so far he is not an anointing he has anointings to give but he is not an anointing and by and large most of the body of christ treats the holy ghost as an afterthought or an anointing mm -hmm. that's the church that's where they're at those are not right words towards god the holy ghost calling him an anointing right words towards him are i worship you holy ghost mm -hmm. you don't worship an anointing do you no. the anointing is just a power it's it's doing something it, it's it's an effectual force that does something not against the anointing you can have the anointing but that's not him are you here yes. he's god mm -hmm. you worship god in fact the bible says in revelations 19 10 to worship god but those words i worship you holy ghost are completely foreign in most of the body of christ mm -hmm. they can't go here until that changes it's what we're doing it's part of our job mm -hmm. say it's part of our job. It's part of our job and we're making some headway aren't we we're starting to make some headway well the holy ghost said to me tell them i am not an anointing tell them i am not an anointing who says that holy, holy ghost holy. These are the words of Jesus in red. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me. He, say he, he, he hath anointed me. The anointing is not a he. The Spirit of the Lord, or literally the Spirit Lord, he anoints but he is not the anointing he anoints say he anoints, he anoints but he's not the anointing, he's not the anointing. he anointed jesus right mm -hmm. first kings chapter 19 verse 11 and he said go forth and stand upon the mount before the lord and behold the lord passed by say behold the lord passed by behold the lord and a great strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind mm. so the wind came and it broke the rocks right before the Lord mm -hmm. say before the Lord. before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake mm -hmm. verse 12 and after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice an earthquake is not a person a strong mighty wind is not a person right even though we name them people hurricane john or whatever it is it's still not a person but the voice was a person a person has a voice say a person has a voice, a person has a voice. if you are saying and believing and god forbid preaching a doctrine that says that he the Holy Ghost who is a person is an anointing then your words are wrong and you get no entrance that's why I brought all these things up before you have to have your words right about the Holy Ghost he is not an anointing he is a person he is God and you should worship God but our words have not been right towards him and they won't take us to the place that we need to go and be especially in this last day i believe god has winked at certain things the church has done just because they're children getting away with it mm -hmm. this is not that day this is not that hour we need to go forth accurately with the right words and the right god in the earth his name is the holy ghost he is the spirit lord and we will go with him from glory to glory even as by him you're not going to do that without knowing him 
and who he is and how to walk with him our words have limited the Holy One the Living God the Spirit Lord but we are changing that we are taking the limits off we are getting to know him as God and worship him as God and speak the right words in agreement with him and there are those of us who are gonna go from one place to the next from that place to the next and that place to the next and there is no stop until like Enoch we were not for God took us Holy Ghost I thank you that these people as they're hearing these words are literally being changed by them and taken into the spirit that they may know you Holy Ghost as the Living God and walk with you speaking right words in agreement with you and thus says the Lord they shall be changed as those words line up with mine and I shall be their refuge I shall be their buttress they shall know my ways they shall know my healing they shall know my prosperity for this is the day for the glory of the Lord to begin filling and covering the earth as the waters cover the sea we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you you are the Spirit Lord you have great glory and you are willing to show me your glory and help me into it that I may walk in it in the earth in this day I thank you for it that I am blessed and my finances are increasing exponentially right now I thank you for it in Jesus name Amen. Right Holy Ghost, your God in the earth.